beginning you wanted to go a little quick out because everyone would go slow going up that hill because it was a little muddy and then after that you would set your pace just run with the race and I knew that there was a girl behind me the whole time and she would get in front of me and then I'd get back in front of her and then I would just try to stay with her and then at the end I knew I had a little left so I kicked it in and I remember coach saying don't take it too hard because of all the mud so I tried to be careful yet try to get in a better place better positioning and that's exactly what I did. Taking a tough field today with some ranked runners uh, we're talking about Denison Sleswig, ADM uh, in there as well as uh, the pokey girl from Tri Center. Talk about running with those runners there and you actually got third out of the four there. Talk about that a little bit. Um, was that on your mind or? Yes, I knew Dennison was going to be here and one of my goals was to at least stay close to her um, and that's just been my goal all year and um, as a team I think we did really well because our goal was to try stay safe yet try to do our best at the same time and I think we reached both of those goals. Talk about some of your teammates and how they did. Um, Carson Rush, she had split, shin splints at the beginning of the season. I think she's pulling through them very well. Ashley Went, she's an amazing runner. I remember running with her during the summer, and she's the one that motivated me, and she's just an amazing girl. Katie Gergen at Red Oak, she had a tough race, and ever since then, she's having a hard time at the end. But right now, our goal for her is just to have her finish and help keep her healthy. And at the end, I try to make sure I'm there for her just because if I knew if I needed her or needed someone, she would be there for me. So that's just my goal is to try to help her out as much as possible. Super Cross, she's a good runner. I'm really happy with how she did at the beginning of the season we were running together too. And I'm just, our whole girls team is really, really good. Emily Swogling, she's, I think she has calf or ankle problems, which she's doing really, really well for that. And overall, our girls team is just, really good and I'm really happy with how we're doing. Congratulations, a great race today. Thank you. Taylor, you've, you've won a meet this year, but third here in such a big field, a lot of talented runners, does this one maybe mean more to you considering the competition? Yes, this one means a lot more because we're at home and all the conditions, honestly, my biggest fright was slipping and hurting myself, <laughs> but I mean, I took it nice and easy, or easy around like some of the slips and cards I knew and this meet just means a lot to me because at first I wasn't quite sure how it was going to work out but now I'm really really happy we did it here because it's just This is the most fun. challenging race you've ever been in considering just how wet and sloppy it is and how the traction can be tough some spots? Yes, uh, this is definitely the most difficult course. I mean if it was dry it wouldn't be sure. too bad but with all the rain and the mud and all that. The corners were slick and then when it started pouring down rain, uh, it was kind of hard to see because of all the rain going in your eyes. And the downhill were kind of tricky. Sure. You were trying to find your footing yet, trying to extend going down. Good job today, Taylor. Appreciate it.